Uh, a million the poet. I like that. Uh, one a million, in a million. Yeah, a million of the poet. Lucas, a million Mayfield. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Real names, a, a million. Yes, sir. Yeah, I want to get that out there. That's a, Your mama said, okay, you're going to be the one. And, uh, she said that or she said uh, we're going to be one in a million. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, you got to be excited. You, you, you've got this going out there. Uh, it's, uh, I love the title, Pimp Poetry in Motion Proceeds. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, where did it all come from? Well, the acronym also stands for Positive Inspirational Motivational Person, and also stands for Poetry as My Profession. I often uh, used to say that my life was poetry in motion, so at one point when I found myself not going anywhere, I, I needed to pick myself up, and that book documents that journey, and it's Poetry in Motion Proceeds. So. Yeah, because when you walked up, and you know, and you, I thought you were standing on the stage and you hadn't stepped up yet, and you stepped <laughs> up on the stage. Exactly. Uh, you know, and the first thing I thought, is, is this a basketball player? We, you know, because uh, did you do basketball? Yeah, basketball was heavy in my background. I went to the University of Pittsburgh and also graduated from Caesar Rodney well, here in yeah. Delaware. Oh, wow, so lo local guy. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Come definitely. back home, and uh, and, and you're, you're excited about being here too. I'm very excited, very excited. Even from the basketball, I said I put my basketball down and pick my ball point up. So yeah, yeah, pleased to be here. Yeah, and uh, I'm 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 sitting here, and I, I was sitting here and going through the notes Brittany takes down for me. It says the son of a street king, and a beauty queen. Uh, kind of That's poetic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very true. That's yeah. another reason why I define my life as poetry and motion. My mother, she also was into poetry performed on Broadway, and she also was in the Mystic District of Columbia competitions. Right. That's what she did growing up. My father, uh, he, was, he also picked up the basketball trace, and, and due to some other things, you know, what we call in the, in the street terminology, he uh, did some time, and I kind of wanted to look at it and look at it, take the positive from it. Right. Take right. the positive from it and be able to be myself at the end of the day. Well, your your mom had to be awful strong and uh, keep yeah. you right and everything while while he was Very there. Nice. I mean, uh, nice. you know. But growing up on the street, is that is, when you talk about your poetry, is it is, is, is it take me where you're going? I mean, with well, it. it basically takes you from the journey from me growing up in. I was born in Washington, D.C., which is a very urban area where I grew. And then me being introduced to Delaware, it kind of documents shot. that journey. <laughs> so From it, D.C. to Delaware. Exactly, right? exactly. So for me to be the best I could be, I had to document that journey and use both for their strengths. Right. And I found that when you combine both and you're real with yourself, you document that journey and you find yourself. That's where I found myself. I just happened to be able to affect people from both sides. Yeah, do, so. you, do you have one that's like your favorite, just, uh, you know, that, you know, kind of puts a smile on your face or, you know, um, you know, they're just out there that's special to you or? All of them are special well, for uh, different well, reasons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of yeah, them are yeah. for different reasons. Yeah, because I was talking to a guy just yesterday, and he's talking about, you know, he's been writing poetry. He's coming out of drug okay. addiction. And, uh, okay. And, it, and he's been doing the same thing. I said, you know, and everybody's raving about it. I said, you should get it published. I mean, there's no of doubt course, about it. Of course, of course. Yeah, and I'm going to start ringing that for a link. I got a vibration going on. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> you want me to call you again? Oh, I just being sure it was my phone that was vibrating. That's all. But, uh, uh, but you know, that's doing that, I mean, that's, you know, uh, well, did you write one for your daughter? Because there's there's a picture of that that's really nice. I wrote picture. I wrote those in motivation of her. I have a, a few ones that is dedicated towards her right. as a person. But like I said, all of them are special for different reasons. But I think, like you said, it's good to document. Can you do anything. me a little bit of one? Anything. Just yeah. throw me a topic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you want to hear about? All right, go um, ahead. Let's talk about alcohol. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's talk okay. that. Let's just let's try to introduce everything. Okay. Uh, I'm so in tune to myself. I can write to my heartbeat. My blood is the flow. Now listen while my mind speaks. My vocal tone moans a life of my own. My mental zone reflects a black Al Capone. Visualize. Life as it seen through my eyes, then you realize what really lies in these realize. I used to sit back and reminisce. My father popped Remy and Chris. Searching for the currents of bliss, he faded in the mist. Streets made me, but my mother raised me. Amongst the same streets, the bullets tried to graze me. Eyes red, blood shot from dead gunshots. Eyes open wide shut to dope and wide. Who, when, where, what? Questions I asked. When I was too young to understand why people passed. Now I'm older, hearts more bolder. And I've witnessed more than Jehovah. Life through my eyes, full exposure. Nice. I like that. You can sell those for like rappers, that. man. You really could. That'd be a, that'd be a great. Yeah, but that's you know, I guess the, the what do they call this? The young Spoke, like spoken, spoken word. word yeah. You know? yeah. That's, do that's you the do part some too. of that? Uh, yes, I've been doing that all around the country, and I, I got tired of people saying, "When's your next show? When's your next?" 
So I got a product that can speak for itself. So I hope others can learn from my life, learn from the mistakes, learn from the rights. And at well, the that's end what of the day, poetry is about. I exactly, mean, you know, find it's, it's trying to teach. I exactly. mean, if you really dig, dig in, you didn't know that, though, Kevin. You know? I didn't know that. <laughs> <You> <laughs> I thought it was all about but, rhyming. Go, go, go ahead and do your Mary, Mary had Mary a had a little <laughs> lamb. <laughs> but uh, you, know, you got any performances coming up in the area? That, uh, I do, I do. Uh, well, I just left the downtown partnership. My next show is actually going to be for my sponsor, United Way. Right. It's going to be for the uh, African American Initiative Program, which is going to be in another week or so. Right. So that's going to be my next one. Um, you can look for me in June. Actually going to be a motivational speaker for another uh, award ceremony. Because that's so one of the things you do as well, you know, not just the poetry, but you right. go around and you speak and at the groups speak, and everything. Motivational yeah. speaking. I have three tours lined up that's going to the... Uh, Jail Penitentiary is going to a book drive, and another one's going to will be a domestic violence and food for thought drive. Well, you can pick this up, I'm sure, at www.amillionthepoet.com. Yes, uh, you definitely want to get it in your hands. Great work. Uh, you keep it up. You. Good positive thoughts, buddy. Really God bless you. God Put bless your hands you. together once more time for me and the poet.